Hey game devs, buckle up, because right now I'm going to show you all of the coolest new things that have come to Unity Prefabs that you probably didn't know about and are totally missing out on. I'll assume you're familiar with Prefabs, but the latest updates are packed with game-changing improvements to the system, so let's jump right in. The first change is a big one. You can no longer make prefabs out of models. And that's because now Unity has transformed the way models are imported and they come in as model prefabs. Now when you want to create a prefab from a model, it'll have to be a prefab variant. With this though, we can now easily swap models without breaking prefabs and without having to add an empty parent to hold that model. Now let's take a look at the reassign prefab option. With this feature, you can swiftly change the prefab your instance is linked to. With the model prefabs, we can easily swap out the visuals while keeping other changes. And if we have other non-prefab objects, we can also quickly convert them into prefabs with a single click. This feature alone has saved me a ton of time and is a great reason to upgrade, which by the way, brings me to this video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Unity, who just released their 2022 LTS version full of amazing features. It allows you to create ambitious dots-powered games, multiplayer experiences, immersive HD environments, and performant visuals for any platform. Dots 1.0 is now fully integrated and supported, including the Burst compiler, c -sharp job system, ECS for Unity, and for multiplayer developers, Netcode for Entities is also fully supported for production. It also includes a ton of new HDRP features like procedural fog, volumetric effects, a new water system, cloud layers, and volumetric clouds. There's an updated spline package, which helps you procedurally generate paths, roads, and fences for your game. And for URP, forward plus rendering is now available, which eliminates the light count so you can have more lights while maintaining performance. Along with LOD crossfade and decal layers, these are some really awesome updates. Finally, I want to highlight the built-in converter, which helps you move your existing projects from the built-in render pipeline to URP. Oh, and the Mega City multiplayer sample is just about to be released in June, so look out for that. These are just a fraction of all the features included in the 2022 LTS. If you want to see all the updates, I'll of course have links for everything in the description. Now before we go any further, if you've ever tried to delete a child object in a prefab and you've seen this message, please let me know in the comments. Now you'll be happy to hear that Unity has finally made it possible to delete children in prefab instances without having to break it all apart and redo the thing. This is something I've wanted to do for things like swapping weapons, equipment, or other minor variations to the prefab, and now I can do that without having to create an unused base version and a bunch of variants that build off of it. I can just delete the parts that I don't want and add on other parts to my variants. That said, I still plan on using variants a lot, and when I do use variants, we now have a brand new variant view. This new interface shows prefab variant relationships right here in the inspector, so you can see the parent prefab, other children, and what differences there are, all in one easy to view spot. If you rename variables a lot like I do, this next change is going to be pretty huge. Unity now flags overrides as unused for a number of potential issues like null targets, unknown property paths, or removed components and game objects. So if you've got invalid data or an old field that doesn't exist anymore being serialized in your overrides, you'll know about it right away and be able to clean it up. The last thing you definitely want to know about is the new prefab menu. There are a lot of really useful tools here. First, you can open a prefab in isolation or in context. The context mode shows you the entire world as long as you don't have it hidden. You can also swap your prefabs here, even keeping overrides, unpack your prefabs, or do that searching for those invalid overrides. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If so, please tap that like and subscribe. And if there's specific things with prefabs that you're gonna be using, drop a comment down below. I'm curious to see which things are most exciting for people and if there's anything that I missed as well. Let me know down in the comments.